For professional caregivers, client requests out of the ordinary may result in an internal tug-of-war discussion of should I or shouldn't I? In my opinion, if you have to ask yourself this question, your response should be no. It takes experience and a heightened sensitivity to be able to immediately recognize questionable situations or requests. One of the most common situations I see in caregiving situation is when a client or patient wishes to hire a professional caregiver privately from a hospital, nursing home, assisted living, or home care setting. I can tell you that most, if not all, of these companies have employment regulations against their employees privately working for clients or patients. I will also tell you that many professional caregivers jump at the chance to be privately hired having little understanding of the long-term consequences. I hear later, it seemed like a good idea at the time. A sense of right and wrong begins at an early age by the example set by our parents. This sense continues to develop through grade school, high school, and into the working world. Actions that you view as wrong may be viewed by another person as acceptable based on their personal character, morals, and ethics. For example, shark fin soup is a delicacy in China. How do you make shark soup? You catch a shark, cut its fins off, and toss it back in the ocean to sink and drown. How do you feel about purposely drowning a shark or any other animal? Do you approve? There was an article in the newspaper a few weeks ago about a homeless man who found a backpack containing $40,000 in cash. The man delivered the backpack to the police department so it could be returned to the owner of the backpack. What would you have done? Would you have returned the backpack containing the $40,000? Your responses to these questions define your character. How do you define character? In the dictionary there are many definitions of character. A moral or ethical quality. A reputation. Features and traits that form an individual. One of my favorite quotes by John Wooden, basketball player and coach at UCLA, tells it like it is. If you don't have the time to do it right, when will you have the time to do it over? The true test of a man's character is what he does when no one is watching. What do you do when no one else is watching? Do you act the same way when others are with you as when you are alone? Are your actions consistent so that your employees, your friends and your family are able to predict how you will respond in any given situation. When you develop a strong sense of self, you'll rarely have to question whether an action you're taking is right or wrong, moral, moral or ethical. Another question, how would you feel if your response or action to a particular situation of should I or shouldn't I appeared in a headline on the front page of the newspaper for everyone to see? Would you feel proud or ashamed? If you need a simple gauge for right and wrong, the newspaper headline is a good question. When in doubt about what to do or how to respond, ask the opinion of others. But know the final decision is yours and defines your character. I'm Pamela Wilson of The Caring Generation, an online community of support for professional and family caregivers.